Sailing on the open ocean can be really tough and even life-threatening. Sailors are on ships that can easily tip over or get swallowed up by the deep water. So how do those big container ships stay above water in these dangerous situations? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're heading out to sea to find out how those massive waves can't sink the giant ships we see today. People have been making amazing ships for a long time, ever since they figured out how to build boats and sail on the oceans. While sailing has always had its dangers, thanks to better technology and shipbuilding techniques, it's now safer and more efficient to travel the seas than ever before. This means even small and big ships can handle the worst weather at sea. But how exactly do they construct ships that can stay upright and tough enough to survive storms? Building a strong and self-adjusting ship begins with its design. Engineers and ship designers need to create a tough and efficient design that can handle various challenges. For instance, let's look at rescue ships. These smaller vessels courageously navigate perilous waters, even in harsh weather, to carry out search and rescue operations when accidents happen at sea. Rescue ships are made to be tough and unsinkable because of their self-adjusting design and sturdy construction. Take the RNLI or the Royal National Lifeboat Institution of the UK for example. They put their big heavy machinery like the engine at the lowest part of the ship under the water line to help keep the ship stable. The crew and working space are intentionally made to be the lightest part of the ship. In the crew area, they fill it with air to make the ship float better. They also use special doors that seal tightly when closed to trap the air inside and stop water from getting in, which could be dangerous for the crew. The crew members are seated and strapped in with seat belts to keep them securely in place and safe. At the core of the rescue ship, there's a clever system inside called the pendulum system. This system is there to seal off all the ship's openings and valves if the ship ever flips over. It's like a special way for the ship to regain its balance if it tips over. This balancing system is really important because it helps the ship stay afloat and correct itself. It's also essential to consider things like where the ship's balance points are and how they calculate ship stability as these factors determine how well the ship can keep its weight balanced and stay steady. Not thinking about these things when designing a ship can be risky. Inside the rescue ship, there's the pendulum system that shifts as the ship rocks from side to side. If the ship goes all the way over, like flipping 180 degrees, the pendulum system kicks in. It makes heavy stoppers close up and seal off any openings or valves on the ship. This stops water from getting inside and making the rescue ship heavy, which would stop it from getting back upright. The ship can easily get itself back on track, so it doesn't take long before it's ready to sail again. The pendulum system teams up with special sensors on the ship that can tell if it's flipped over. When that happens, it shuts down important systems like the engine and radar, only turning them back on once the ship is back in the right position. Now that we've covered the basics, let's talk about the big players like commercial cargo ships. Unlike smaller ships, these heavyweights are designed to carry massive loads of commercial goods. But don't underestimate them, they can handle lousy weather just fine. Considering how crucial cargo ships are to the world's supply chain, these massive ships, weighing hundreds of tons, are constructed to withstand powerful storms and towering waves, some even as tall as buildings. Cargo ships also rely on various ship stability systems, and they can use a range of them to ensure they stay afloat and stable. One of these systems is called bilge keels. They're like special wings or fins placed on both sides of a ship's hull. Bilge keels cover about two-thirds of the ship's total length and are set at an angle. These fins play a crucial role in maintaining the stability of large cargo ships by decreasing the amount the ship tilts while it's sailing. Bilge keels perform most effectively when the ship is moving at a fairly high speed. Now let's talk about fin stabilizers. These are like movable fins that create lift or downward pressure to minimize a ship's rocking and maintain its stability. When the ship is docked at a harbor, these stabilizers are neatly tucked away inside the ship. These stabilizers use electrohydraulics to move up and down. 
They adjust the ship's position by either lifting it up or lowering it down to reduce its tilting. A ship's gyro system takes charge of these stabilizers, activating them when it senses the ship tilting. Just like bilge keels, stabilizers are most effective when the ship is cruising. Unlike bilge keels or stabilizers, anti-roll tanks are situated inside the ship and they work by shifting weight to maintain stability. These tanks move water from one ballast to another within the ship to distribute its weight and prevent it from tipping over. Ballasts are compartments inside the ship's hull where seawater is stored to help keep it stable and afloat. The anti-healing system works much like anti-roll tanks, both helping to balance the ship's weight and minimize the tilting by moving water from the ballast. However, unlike anti-roll tanks, anti-healing systems use valves and pumps to control the water flow. What's great about these systems is that they can be operated automatically or manually. And that's a wrap for this video. Have you ever witnessed a ship capsizing or felt a ship tilting? Share your exciting stories with us in the comments below. As always, remember to subscribe to find out more and explore more.